Alhamdulillah Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah Amma ba'd Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu So I was at home um, Just before I came here And I was in my study and I was thinking And I started to think and ponder over um, the sisters and I was particularly thinking about the sisters who are not practicing I was particularly thinking about the sisters who don't pray sisters who have boyfriends and are being used by their boyfriends and doing haram the sisters who go to the club sisters who drink, smoke sisters who don't practice in general and um, it made me quite emotional the reason it did was because you're my sisters and I care for you I really care for you and um, this is one of the reasons I don't actually go out of my house much because when I go out you know sometimes you see sisters like I'm sharing with you something that I haven't really told many people but it's true, one of the reasons I don't go out to places like, you know, high streets and what much is because it really breaks my heart, like, if I see sisters, you know, like, dressed inappropriately. Not that we're looking, obviously, but, you know, sometimes, you know, you may, like, see something without intentionally looking. Sisters who are doing haram, you know, some of them wear hijab, some of them don't. And wallahi, like, it really, really, it really hurts because I see you as my sisters and it would kill me. You know, if it was my own sister, so why wouldn't it kill me if it was you? But it does, so that's one of the reasons I don't. And um, like, I'm sorry, I know I'm going to mumble and ramble a lot in these videos because I haven't really prepared. And I didn't want to prepare anything, I just wanted to talk to you guys from my heart. I, I just wanted to have that like, heart to heart and like, I'm your brother, you know? So please don't be, um, don't take it in the wrong way. I'm your, I'm your older brother. Even though many of you probably don't know me um, Maybe watching the video for the first time But just know you have a brother in Islam who cares um, Yeah So I was thinking about the sisters, right? And then I started to say, you know I remembered Sumayya radiallahu anha um, after talking to the brothers, I remembered Sumayya and Sumayya was a Sahabiya from the Prophet Sallallahu Sahaba she was a woman and um, she was captured and basically you know tortured by a man called Abu Jahl Abu Jahl was the biggest enemy of the Prophet Sallallahu and he tortured Sumayya and he basically told her he was going to kill her if she didn't leave Islam if she didn't utter and pronounce words of kufr and shirk and she refused a woman being tortured by a man she obeyed and loved Allah so much and she loved Islam so much that she refused to utter those words of shirk and her life was on the line do you guys know what Abu Jahl did? Abu Jahl took a spear and he stabbed Sumayya between her legs in her private part. She died. She became the first person to die for Islam that day. The first woman in Islam who died for the sake of Allah. The first martyr was a woman. And you know, I think to myself, Sumayya didn't give up her religion she was faced with death and some of my sisters have already given up on their religion and they weren't tested with as much as a scratch on their hand or even a broken nail Sumayya was threatened with death and she refused to utter words of shirk and my sister you disobeyed Allah for your boyfriend. You went out into the streets wearing makeup, dressing to please the men. You put aside the pleasure of Allah. 
I'm not having to go with you. I'm just telling you what I was thinking. And I thought to myself, you know, if only you knew the legacy that women have in Islam, the first woman, the first person to ever accept Islam was a woman. SubhanAllah. Khadija radiallahu anha. The first person to die for Islam was a woman. Sumayya radiallahu anha. Ah, we go on. But you have a huge role to play. And wallahi, the ummah will not become great once again until the women play their part. We need you. As men, we need you. As an ummah, we need you. In fact, the word ummah comes from the same word um, which means mother. The mother is a woman because the ummah comes from a woman. Yeah, man. Us men think we're quite sick, but the reality is that we're not really going to go far until we have your help with the permission of Allah. Allah's help first and foremost, but we need you guys. And you know, part of the reason why things are so peak for you is because of us men. Let's be real. So I apologize for that. The fact that, you know, your brother was probably given more love and respect in the house than you just because he was a boy. You know, there's not enough stuff out there for sisters like there is for men when it comes to Islamic activities. I'm sorry. I apologize on behalf of men for that. I sincerely do. But my sisters, my sisters, please, just know and understand that whatever it is you're looking for, because at the end of the day, I know you just want to be happy, right? I know the sister with the boyfriend, the sister going to the club or the sister drink, I know you just want to be happy, right? I know, and I know you're not happy doing what you do. I know you're not happy when you, like for example, if you lost your virginity, I know that didn't make you happy. I know you probably felt so low when you did it, but then you did it so much, it just became regular. But I know when you think about it, it hurts you, it makes you sick. I know you don't like doing what you do. I know deep down you're not happy. But what you need to know that you will not be happy like this. Happiness is found only in Allah. Allah said, my sister, the day that you realize that true happiness, true happiness will come when you have a relationship with Allah, is the day you start to live life. Anyway, I'm going to cut it short. I just really wanted this video, the main objective, to start a conversation with you guys. I realized that I want to dedicate a lot more time towards our sisters and I'm starting two projects for sisters only. One is a project that's going to be online and one will not. We'll start with the one that's not online. I'm going to be starting a sisters only class in West London in Hounslow inshallah every stat Saturday starting from this Saturday. For more information on the place and the location, go to the email address below, inshallah ta'ala, and you'll get information about that class. As for online, I'm going to be starting an online series for sisters only. And for this series to be a success, I need you guys to help me share this video with as many sisters as you can. I want you to particularly share this video with sisters who are not practicing with sisters who don't pray. That's what I want this video to reach. And I would love it if you could encourage them to subscribe to the channel, 
for no other reason except for the fact that they will be able to get access to this online series for sisters and it's something that I hope and I pray I can release a video for at least every week for the first few months it's just going to be stuff relating to women just see you guys because you're special you're important I mean the Prophet used to have private classes for the, for the women so you deserve that as well right so please try and share this video with sisters particularly who are non-practicing I'm talking about the non-practicing sisters I, I want them to know that they're not going to get judged you know and I really want particularly non-practicing sisters to come to that class in West London like for me yeah non-practicing ones that's, that's the crowd we want to reach out to and then inshallah ta'ala over time we will become practicing so like I said inshallah ta'ala subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for the um, upcoming series and um, go to the email address below for more information on the class in West London Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh